Well, the second band was completely unchained, the Van Halen tribute, and they were the ones who took first place. And they definitely deserve to take first place. They are, without a doubt, of all the bands that played there, the uh, the most polished. Yep. I'm sure they play more than any of anybody else that's there. That was there. I, um, I, in that type of lineup, that format, right? Mm-hmm. They're used to playing festivals and things of that nature and large rooms. And that's what they cater to. It doesn't hurt to have a little pyrotechnics on, on stage. And, you know, you have Gene that, that can jump around with the best of them and, and uh jake that's a awesome guitar player and you know it, it was very good and it was expected to be very good yeah it was uh talking with jake backstage before they performed and he was telling us that they actually have two separate stages for uh one up north and one down here in florida and that makes traveling and touring a lot easier they have two completely different sets of of gear to alleviate some yeah. of the travel so that tells you if they have two different sets, then that, that shows you Challenges. how much they have a need for, to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, it means they're playing enough to be able to do that. Exactly. But they were really, really good. And I had even people um, down at, in their eight o'clock show that were telling me that they would rather see them than the actual Van Halen because they saw Van Halen, what, a couple of years ago. And said that, you know, Eddie, just his playing is not what it used to be. And uh, David Lee Roth, well, he still can't sing. So it's just gotten worse. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they no, enjoyed I, it because well, it took I, them I back to them, the 80s. I saw them know? a few years ago myself, and I thought that uh, uh, I, I thought that Eddie's guitar playing was on point when I saw them. Oh. Um, but I, I would agree that, that David Lee Roth still can't sing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> You know, he certainly can't move like he, like he could before. He's a little older now, but, um, you know, it, uh, it was a, it was a good uh, performance at the fair and they deserved to win. Yeah, they, they really did. They had the sound, they had the look, they had the moves, they had, you know, uh, yep. Jake has Eddie Van Halen's moves down. He plays, you know, I mean, just, you could tell he's, he's got it practiced down. And then, uh, oh, yeah. Eugene has, has got David Lee Roth down, got the moves, got the, the sound, you know, but I would say more like the studio version or the eighties version of David Lee Roth sound, not the, not the newer version of, of David Lee Roth. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and the bass absolutely. player, man, could that guy sing or what, man? Kevin is yeah. a monster, man. Yeah. No, they're very, very good. They, they very sure Very good, were. and they absolutely deserve all the recognition and deserve to be in first place, no question. Yeah, they really I are. actually saw on Facebook uh, the other day, uh, Jake had posted a Facebook Live prior to any of the bands playing. He was walking around the tent, and he was talking to people on Facebook Live. It, it was like hmm. 15 minutes long. But I it was kind of cool. Around. He was talking about the event and showing people the the stage, and he gave uh, good props to you guys and still alive because he had heard your sound check. So it was in between your sound check and when you guys came on to play. Uh, he had done this walk around on Facebook Live. I watched some of that. It was pretty interesting. That's cool. Yeah, though no, they were really cool guys. It was fun to fun to hang out with them again. The last time we saw them was what uh, at Two Georges when they come to a Crazy Train gig. Right. Yeah, uh, the Evil Monkeys gig. Mm, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Because Frank was singing. You're right. Yeah, it was an Evil Monkeys gig. I was I was there running sound that time, that day. That's true. Yeah, yep. uh, they, they're personable guys, nice guys to talk to. It's just a uh, you know good good band folk. You know mm-hmm. exactly. Just it was, it was fun hang out hang out backstage. Uh, probably just as fun backstage as it was uh, in the audience <laughs> watching the band yeah, watching oh, the performance. Absolutely. I had a blast backstage all day. I did too. 